हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस टॉपिक इज कलर फंडामेंटल्स एंड क्रोमेटिसिटी फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू यू मे एक्सपेक्ट सम डेफिनेशंस रिलेटेड टू कलर फंडामेंटल्स और अ शॉर्ट नोट ऑन कलर फंडामेंटल्स एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज क्रोमेटिसिटी डायग्राम सो इट विल बी आस्ट टू ड्रॉ एंड एक्सप्लेन द क्रोमेटिसिटी डायग्राम so first let us discuss about the color fundamentals basically the we know that if you want to view some object then light is allowed to fall on that object part of the light gets reflected from that object and that reflected light is sensed by our eyes so reflected light from the object determines color of that object now एज फार एज द स्पेक्ट्रम इज कंसर्न जैसे देखो बाकी सब्जेक्ट में भी आप लोगों ने इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम विजुअल स्पेक्ट्रम ये लर्न किया होगा लाइक वाइज देर इज अ कलर स्पेक्ट्रम विच इज अ ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम विच इज कंटेनिंग वायलेट ग्रीन येलो ब्लू ऑरेंज एंड रेड स्पेक्ट्रम और दीज आर द रिस्पेक्टिव बैंड ऑफ कलर स्पेक्ट्रम Each band does not end abruptly. मतलब suddenly जैसे violet का एक band है sudden end हो के दूसरा band start नहीं होता है but it changes smoothly. So we can treat it like this. There are six basic uh, bands as far as this color spectrum is concerned. And since each band is not ending abruptly, not ending suddenly, there is a mixing of band up to certain portion. Now. when we talk about the black and white tv then it is related to chromatic light so chromatic light is basically mixing of black and white colors and corresponding wavelength is 400 nanometer to 700 nanometers now there are few important terms related to this uh, black and white tv that is re related to chromatic light first is radiance it is total energy which is coming from the light source so naturally its unit is watt because it is the energy coming out from the light source next is luminance whatever the energy which is pursued by our eyes is expressed in terms of luminance so energy pursued by observer is uh, related to luminance and its unit is lm that is luminance then brightness indicates intensity of the light so it's simple brightness is related to the intensity of light now as far as the colors are concerned there are three primary colors which are red color having wavelength 700 nanometer green color wavelength is 546.1 nanometer and blue color 435.8 nanometer so there are three primary colors red green and blue jaise ye diagram refer kar lo this is red color i have drawn three spheres ये जो स्पीयर है दिस इज फॉर रेड कलर सेकंड स्पीयर इज फॉर ब्लू कलर थर्ड स्पीयर इज फॉर ग्रीन कलर द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस थ्री कलर दैट इज आर बी जी रेड ब्लू ग्रीन द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस थ्री कलर प्रोड्यूसेस अनदर थ्री कलर जिसको बोलते हैं सेकेंडरी कलर फॉर एग्जाम्पल जैसे डायग्राम में देखा है दिस स्पीयर दिस स्पीयर इज फॉर रेड कलर दिस अपर स्पीयर or upper circle is for green color so combination of green and red produces yellow color then combination of green and blue produces cyan color then combination of red and blue produces magenta color so magenta cyan and yellow are called secondary colors whereas red blue and green are called primary colors so we have written three primary colors are there red green and blue corresponding wavelengths is also written the combination of these three colors as i have already explained in this diagram is related it produces a secondary color which is cyan magenta and yellow color if you combine the three primary colors that is red blue and green in equal amount then white color is produced which is shown at the center so this particular portion indicates we are combining three primary colors rbg in equal proportion so we will get a white color ab jaise dekho is diagram mein maine primary colors dikha hai and combination of primary colors produces secondary colors second diagram is similar to the first diagram only in this case the cyan magenta and yellow colors are shown uh, they are indicated by circles and mixing of these produces the colors 
red, green and blue. Now, characteristics of color. This, this was this, these three characteristics we discussed for a black and white color that is uh, chromatic light. If we are talking about the color TV, so we know that any color which is perceived by our eyes is due to the cones which are present in our eye. We have already discussed the concept of cones and rods which are receptors and particularly cones are responsible for sensing the color of light. <coughs> there are 16 to 70 million cones in our eyes. Out of this, 65% of cones are responsible uh, for uh, generation of red color, 33% are for green color and only 2% are related to blue color but the cones which are related to blue color are more sensitive compared to other cones. This is about the distribution of cones in our eyes and cones are responsible for visualization of colors. Now characteristics of colors. First characteristic is brightness. These are the characteristics related to you may say color TV or different combination of colors. First characteristic is brightness. The chromatic measurement of intensity is called brightness. Then hue, it is HUV. It is dominant color pursued by observer. So whatever colors are pursued out of that the dominant color which is pursued which is received by observer is measured in terms of hue and saturation indicates how much amount of white light white light is getting mixed with you that this is the indication given by the saturation the combination of hue and saturation is called chromaticity jo hum log detail mein learn karne wale hai. then amount of rgb is required to produce a particular color and this amount which is required I mean, when you combine the three colors, we discussed that different uh, secondary colors are generated. So this particular amount of primary colors is decided by the values which are called tri-stimulus values. Now, in case of color TV, there is a phosphorus grid. Every dot in a grid, when this phosphorus grid is excited, I mean, whenever the supply is given, then every dot in the phosphorus grid, in case of color TV, gets excited and the different these these dots produces the primary colors that is rbg and combination of all these colors produces the secondary colors so this is about the color fundamentals the next most important part is chromaticity diagram this is the chromaticity diagram it is basically graph of red color which is plotted on x axis versus green color which is plotted on y axis. So this graph gives us the combination of different colors which is a function of red and green color. Hum logo ko pata hai ki teen basic colors hai, red, green and blue. But we have plotted this graph with respect to red and green. At any point you can obtain the blue color by making use of this equation x plus y plus z is equals to 1 where x, on x axis we have plotted red color, on y axis we have plotted green color. So to obtain the blue content, we can calculate the value of z making use of this equation. So this is a tongue shaped diagram. This red color diagram is a tongue shaped diagram where I have written, it represents locus of spectral energy and this is the function of red color versus green color. Just as we have discussed, you can well obtain the value of blue color contained at that particular point. Now, this boundary, hai, this represents locus of spectral energy. If any point is moving across the boundary, then hue of that point goes on changing. At the center, I have marked white point or white color. We have discussed that. If you combine the three basic colors that is RBG in equal proportion then white color is obtained. So any point which is present on the boundary of this diagram. Dekho, ye triangle hum logo ne simplicity clear draw ke. So at the each corner of triangle I have written green, red and blue. Any point present on this uh, boundary of this diagram, red color diagram is fully saturated. So I have written any point located on boundary is fully saturated. As point moves towards 
center point that is towards white point then the white content or white color in that point relative to that point goes on adding that means percentage of white color goes on increasing so the saturation of that point goes on reducing so the point located on the boundary is having fully saturated as the point moves towards the white color this white color this particular color as we discussed it is obtained by combining three primary colors in equal proportion this color is also called equal energy so when the point moves from boundary towards this white towards this equal energy point then that corresponding uh, point becomes less saturated now if you draw a straight line just say yeah, r color a red color green color i i have drawn a straight line from r to g so any line which is drawn between uh, let us say r to g indicates the combination of red and green color content at that particular point for example if point is near to this red color so it will indicate that the percentage of red color in that point is more compared to the green color so any point which is present on this line gives variation of uh, red and green color contents in that particular point for example i have marked this point as a green point ab dekho ye jo point hai green point it is basically containing 62% of green color 25% of red color and 13% of green color so any point inside the triangle can be obtained can be produced by various combination of rgb jaise maine abhi green color ka explain kiya to ye alag alag combination leke jo point mark kiya this is corresponding to green color now this is about the chromaticity diagram what are the uses of this chromaticity diagram it is used for color mixing then to determine hue and saturation hum logo ne discuss kiya as the point moves across along this boundary hue goes hue goes on changing and as the point moves from boundary towards white color that is equal energy point saturation goes on uh, decreasing so to determine hue and saturation then to determine range of colors that is obtained from any two colors so this is about the chromaticity diagram and that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video